So we'll create a new part. I'll go to 3D. I'll go to Part Design. I'll launch a new part. Ooh, that stayed. Let's make this the defining work object. Let's select the XY plane. I can't even believe that even did anything. Have to escape here. Select the XY plane. And select sketch. And I'm just going to create two circles. So just waiting on my computer to catch up with me. For some reason, everything is dog slow now. Um, I'll just make that two inches. Then we'll make another one from that center. Come out. And then we'll just highlight everything and constrain it. So you want to make sure that your part is constrained and closed profiles. So I know I'm good to go and I can go make my solid. But what I'm going to do at this level is I'm going to go to tools and I'm going to hit formula and I'm going to go to uh, I'm going to change this to length and it makes it a lot easier for me to find these what's in there and I'm also gonna ooh, I hit that vertical line on accident so we'll open up the tree open up the sketch or click on the sketch when you click on the sketch it changes those so all I see is anything in the sketch that has length parameters which are the two radiuses I just created the top one is the OD, so in lower case, I'm going to type in OD. I know it's OD because it says 2-inch value, and this is the 2-inch value. I'll click on this one, and I'll change this to ID. That will help me find them later on when I want to go link the parameters. So I'll select OK. I'm going to exit out, and we'll create our pad. And I'll just go 0.2 thick. So I got a washer. Now what I'm going to do is go create a formula under tools and find formula and we're going to create new parameters. So I'm going to select new parameter with a length and hit new parameter here. Change out to OD and I'll make the OD 1. Enter. Select a new parameter. Type in ID, these are capital letters, and I'll make that 0.5. Uh, accidentally hit the wrong key, Let's try it again, 0.5. So you got an OD ID parameter of 1 inch and 0.5, and in my parameters in the tree, I got OD ID of 0.5. I'll select OK. So you have this parameter here, I can change that to 0.75. I can change this to 2. Nothing's changing. Why? Hopefully you know the answer, is I haven't linked anything to it. If I hit FX, I can hit rename parameters, and you see the little OD and the little ID? Those are the constraints I want to link to my parameter. So. OD is currently highlighted. I'm going to add a formula to that. I'm just going to pick off the tree, double click OD. You have OD here equals OD over here. Select OK. Now I in my relations, you see the formula little OD equals lowercase OD equals capitals OD. The constraint is equaling the parameter. So if I change the parameter, the OD will change. Same with the ID. Add a formula to that and click on this one. Make sure it says ID equals ID. You must double click to get ID in there. Select OK. And you'll see my relations are in here. I'll select OK to that. Now they're linked. Did you even notice it changed? It's kind of hard to tell. Let's change this back by double clicking on this. Change that to a half. You see how much smaller the hole got? Let's change this to one. Okay, so you can see that the parameters are changing. 
based on the values I type in for the parameter. I change my parameter and it changed the constraints in the sketch. I didn't control thickness yet. I'm going to intentionally not do that so you can see that I can do it later. You don't have to have everything done. If you want to make changes, you can. All right, so that's part one. You have to have a part, and you have to have all the relations already defined. And the next part will be to create a Excel spreadsheet 